More than 450 soldiers here locally are preparing for deployment in the Middle East. WSLS 10's Rachel Lucas tells us how a Lynchburg-based Virginia Guard unit is gearing up for a 12-month mission in Qatar. Since our last deployment to Iraq in 2010, it's once again time for the 116th Regiment to answer the call of duty. They've spent the last two years training. Now they'll be providing security detail in Qatar. You know, I think we'll be vigilant. We'll anticipate and look for opportunities in which, you know, danger may present itself. But I think for the most part, we should be relatively secure. Heritage High School graduate, 24-year-old specialist Douglas Harris has been in the Guard for four years. This is his first deployment, which will also be the farthest and longest time he spent away from home. I got the news and I was like, let's go. This is what I signed up for, so I'm <laughs> definitely excited. He's currently working on a degree, but for now, he's putting that on hold and is proud to serve his country. Well, it's a good feeling. I know that uh, I'm actually doing something and actually being a part of something bigger than myself is, is a great, great feeling. Well, there are many soldiers like Specialist Harris who are prepping for their first. This will be Sergeant First Class James Bertel's fifth deployment. My first two deployments, I was I was single, I was not married, and, and at that point it was really stress-free because it was just me. Um, I can tell you after, the, the, I think it's the third deployment, the fourth deployment, I, I had a family, and it was, it was a whole different world. He has a wife and three boys at home. Well, they, they definitely take away that daddy does an important job. They know that. Um, but uh, it's usually when we're putting the kids to bed that, uh, you know, some emotions kind of get into it and they start to get concerned. So. And while it's tough to leave, he takes that parenting role with him overseas. I tell my boys to comfort them that uh, they're, they're my children and I, you know, and, and I love them. And I'd also tell them that my soldiers are, are like my children as well. So I have a different group of children to take care of, uh, grown men, of course, while, while we're deployed. So that, that keeps me going. In Lynchburg, Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.